We've got a brand new cordless screwdriver from Mac Tools and a 52 piece set. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the new Mac Tools cordless screwdriver kit. It's powered by a four volt battery that's on board that gets recharged by a USB cable that's also included. Also, it's a type C, which we're really happy about that. Anyway, we get 52 other pieces. The actual model number to this is the SBD4V 52S, 52S because there's 52 pieces here. We get the cordless screwdriver, the USB cord, and then roughly 50 other bits and pieces to use with this. We're really excited about what's included in here, but we also have some things that we think needs to be added to this kit, and we're gonna do it. So let's dive in, take a closer look at this, then we'll use it, then we'll come back and tell you what we thought. Looks like we got something new from Mac Tools today. This is their 52 piece cordless screwdriver set. Plastic case, obviously, uh, and then it looks like a screwdriver and probably 51 other pieces. Uh, we're not gonna count that. Looks like we get a USB cord, which right away, one thing I like, it is USB type C. Uh, I think everything should be going to USB type C and drop the type B, anyway, regardless, that's definitely the better option. Uh, it's gonna charge faster as well as there's no uh, up or down to that. Uh, so glad to see that we're a type C charging cable. I know some of the others that are out there are not type C, so that's just a perk. Uh, so here is the screwdriver unit, Mac Tools logo. So this is all rubber overmolding right here. Obviously plastic uh, base here. Um, Looks like you get an LED right here on the front and uh, then a locking ring that slides back to accept all the different bits. And then here is our charging port here on the back. So a little rubber cover, pull it back. And then there's the type C charging port right there. We push the button. You see we get a green light here. Then I believe it turns to amber and then to red when it's, uh, when it's almost dead. Uh, so that will change based on the charging status. And then when you're charging this, this will blink green uh, when it's charging. And then I believe it goes out uh, when it's fully charged. You get a really nice light on the front of this, especially the, to be a little driver. I've seen some of these drivers where there's just two lights. Uh, this looks like it has one, two, three, four, five lights uh, in that ring there. So you get a, a good amount of light shining from this little guy. Um, and you see here, let me grab another screwdriver just so we can see the size of this. I've got pretty decent sized hands, uh, but it's very comfortable in the hand. Uh, there's really no, uh, I guess it's kind of a four lobe, kind of a four sided design. Uh, so, you know, not very uh, evident on the actual corners, if you will. So almost a, a round design here, comfortable in the hand, uh, but you're not going to be turning it a lot like you would in an actual screwdriver. You're going to be letting the, uh, the actual revolutions uh, do the work there as far as running the screws in and out. Just for a size reference here, as far as the handle, this is a number two Phillips uh, in the Mac Tools design. So, it's a, so the cordless driver is a little bit bigger in the handle than your typical number two Phillips in the same, uh, the same brand in the Mac Tools design. And this is a little bigger handle, so that's getting really close to about the size. So like the, uh, would be in a number three Phillips or in like the, this larger um, flathead here. So the size of this handle is gonna mimic basically their largest size in, the, in their regular screwdrivers, which is absolutely fine. And again, it feels um, very comfortable in the hand. Now the, uh, the power switch here or the uh, directional lever is basically you're gonna push it with your thumb and not only do you have a, an arrow that shows, you know, in and out or forward, reverse, what have you, but also you feel an embossing and debossing. Uh, so right here, it's kind of recessed. The arrow is recessed and right here, the arrow is raised. So you can feel it with your finger, but it's pretty easy to remember that you push the arrow forward, that you're going in and backwards that you're backing it out. I wanted to point out a couple of things in the bits that are included here before we actually use this and see what we think about it. Uh, so included with the kit, we get the, uh, the USB cord. Uh, we get a place obviously for the driver. And then a, a couple of things that we get, uh, we get a shorty, you know, quarter inch uh, hex, two quarter inch socket adapter here. So you can 
you know, put this in. And by the way, you can't just push it in. You do have to pull the lock ring back to push that in. Not a big deal, but just wanted to point that out. And then when you, you know what? It doesn't look like. So on, uh, on, you can't just put a bit in here and it lock in. So it's actually not locking that bit in. To actually lock that bit in, it looks like we need to use the longer extension uh, with the recessed area here, which allows that uh, retention ball in there to actually lock that into place. So I can pull this back and now that's locked in. You see the collar actually slides forward. So no biggie, just understand if you are trying to shorten this up and use this, uh, this short extension or this short um, bit adapter, that's not going to lock that collar into place. And then we have a quarter inch socket adapter to the quarter inch hex. So now we can accept uh, these smaller bits, which I don't know why you go from quarter inch to quarter inch to quarter inch, but anyway, regardless, you see that fits in there. And then any of your, if I had a screwdriver bit, so my number three Phillips right here, put that in there. And now that's going to be in the place we can use our bits or we can pull this off and now use sockets if we need to. Couple of things about this kit. Number one, uh, it doesn't come with just a quarter inch bit adapter. So we have to actually put this in here, then put this in here to then use these bits. Understand that because of size, because of, uh, you know, you have to stop at some point, we couldn't include uh, this adapter as well as a regular quarter inch uh, hex adapter. But if you look here in this kit, it looks like it, they were ready to do so because that definitely looks like where a typical quarter inch impact adapter bit would go uh, right here. Regardless, that's not included in the kit. Uh, what is included are a lot of bits that are, you know, not only needed, uh, but are preferred as well. So meaning, so we get these first four bits and these first five bits are Phillips and Mac labels them very well right here on the, uh, on the bit itself. It says, uh, PH4, so that tells me that's a Phillips number four bit. I don't know why in the world I would need a number four bit, a number four Phillips in this screwdriver, but still, it's there. So we get everything from a zero to one, two, three, and four, and then we even get our posi drive bit. So if we look here on the side, it says PZ2. So I know that's a posi drive. Number two bit is also included in the kit. We get the Mac logo right there on the side as well. Then we get our square drives, uh, we get our ball-ended hex drives as well. Uh, we get security bits and not only hex or, or Allen uh, with the security, but also in the torque. So we have the regular torque drives as well as the security bits. So love to see that we're getting security bits in this kit as well. And then we get uh, some other standard tips and, uh, and uh, more of the hex ball adapter. So, I like the, the uh, choice of bits that they're including in this. There are a couple of things that I would add to this kit. Let me bring these in. Number one, so let's say if we wanted to add some things, well, you know what? We may not have a lot of room to add these because if I put this back in here and I put this back in here and I put this back in here, there's really not a lot of room to add except for our little tray right here. So here's what I would say do. Number one, if you really need the charging cord to be in the kit, we can replace, put it in a different place. But if not, this may go in your toolbox and you know use it for charging on your desk or wherever you, you charge your power tools. But anyway, if you do have to carry it in the kit, this insert does come out of here with a little effort. And you know what? We could tuck that USB cord under there and now our USB is under this tray and now we have all this area here. Here's some things that I would add to this kit. Number one, we know we can obviously adapt sockets to it, which would be very handy. So not only will we will have our screwdriver bits and our Torx bits and our, and our hex drives uh, and, and so forth, but also let's throw in, as I was mentioning, uh, a quarter inch impact adapter bit or a quarter inch hex adapter kit. And this is DeWalt's, and the reason I like this one is number one, we have a typical hex driver bit adapter, right? So we can put our bits in, but here's the cool thing about this. There's a couple of cool things about this, is number one, I can slide my bit in, and it locks into place. 
So I've got that one inch bit in there, it locks into place, I didn't have to do anything. And then if I want to release this, there's a little collar right here, I can pull it out and it actually ejects the bit. So again, I can show this, just push the bit in, locks into place, pull it out, and it ejects the bit. The other thing is, let me grab another bit here. Let's grab the number three Phillips. So I've got my number three Phillips, push that in. I can also use this little magnetic ring right here and slide this onto here and that locks into place. Still showing that bit, but let me show you why. Got a screw, put it on there. It is not losing that screw at all there, hit it pretty hard to do that. But as far as shaking that around, it's not losing that bit. Whereas if I pulled that ring off and just put the screw on there, obviously that's gonna come off very easy. So I like DeWalt's hex driver bit adapter, as I mentioned. So I would definitely keep that in that little tray. Here's some other things that I would add. Number one, a couple of extensions. And I believe that's a six inch and a three inch extension that will fit in there. And then sockets. So here's what I would keep in this kit. Number one, I would start with an 11 millimeter because 11 millimeter is going to cover our 11 as well as our 7 16 Then you can't do without a 10 millimeter, obviously. And then our nine millimeter should not only cover our nine millimeter, but should also cover uh, 11 30 seconds as well. Uh, and in between there, I would keep a 3 8 Every once in a while, we still run into a 3 8 if you're working on domestic stuff. Then I would go to the 8 millimeter, which is going to cover your 8 millimeter as well as your 5 16 And then your 7 millimeter and even down to a 5.5 millimeter. So adding those few sockets there are really going to cover a lot of items that would be typically under the hood, uh, in interiors. Um, and uh, those sorts of things. And we should have enough room here to add our sockets. We can make that look pretty later. But anyway, so we've got everything in there. Our USB cord is now tucked up under there, but now we've added sockets in there that we can cover everything uh, from your 11 millimeter or 7 16 down to about as small as you want to go in the five and a half millimeter. That would be a nice kit to keep around and it's very compact. Let's go use this a little. So here's a simple little uh, relay panel that we put together with some, uh, some electrical connectors, some terminal connectors. So I've got my number two Phillips and put it on there. So obviously it doesn't look like it's got the power to loosen that, but all I have to do, turn it, then hit the button and I'm golden. Then I can finish tightening, go to the next one. So it looks like it had the power to break that one free, but I'm not looking at this to have all the power in the world. It's kind of just like a uh, cordless ratchet. I want the ability to maybe break that free and then I can loosen it and run it back in and then use the power of the almighty hand to actually tighten that up. Let's try this one. Yep, same thing. Loosen that and then run that in. So now I've switched over to my eight millimeter socket and an extension I can take my hose clamps off and then go to my number three Phillips and I can remove air box stuff. Now I'm back to my eight millimeter, break that free. the time I see kits like this I kind of turn away or, or turn a blind eye if you will because a lot of times the bits in it are kind of junk and and the tool itself are just questionable but this is much different this Mac tool screwdriver is really cool works really well easy you know in and out function or tight and loosen function right there with the arrow key we love the USB type C charger so it can charge about anywhere you also don't have that directional of up and down on the USB type C 
Uh, so very easy to use, very easy to charge, um, and it works quite well. Does it have the torque of a impact wrench? No, it's not supposed to. I think it's like 0.9 Newton meters, which is probably what, half a foot pound, 0.6 foot pound, something like that. Regardless, you can use your hand to actually finish torquing or to break something loose and then use that button to run things out. We love the fact that it included a lot of great bits, but we also think that some others needed to be added. And that was easy to do by just putting that uh, USB cord under this tray here. And then we can add everything from five and a half millimeter all the way up to 11 millimeter. And obviously you can tweak what you think needs to be added, but we think to kind of add some uh, value to this kit, would be adding a few quarter inch uh, sockets to that as well as a true quarter inch impact adapter rather than you know using two different uh, adapters to attack the same purpose. So really cool kit. Again, the model number on this is the SBD uh, 4V52S because you get these 52 different pieces. So really cool kit. Now price on this, it looks like it's gonna be in the $200 range. I know, pretty steep. Uh, but for the Mac Tools, hey, you're always going to pay a premium uh, for Mac Tools brand. Also, we've seen some other screwdrivers like this, but they don't have all the features that the Mac Tools does. So, hey, be sure to check it out for yourself. Also, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video, then give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.